Are you sure you lost an electron? We're positive. We're going to talk about the Geiger Marston Rutherford experiment. It's often just called like Rutherford, but there we go. So we're going to talk about sort of Rutherford scattering, it's going to be the name. First, before we do that, it's important to learn this plum pudding model of the atom. This is what they thought the atom was actually made of. And it's not so ridiculous because people were just trying to find this out through experiments. So, for example, J.J. Thompson in 1897, you know, uh, for example, uh, he worked with the discovery of the electron. And they figured out also the electron is very, very small and they knew it was negative. And they also figured out the charge to mass ratio of the electron. I did that in another video. So what's the plum pudding model? Well, the idea was, hey, the nucleus of the atom, or at least, well, they didn't know it had a nucleus, sorry. The atom itself, they thought, well, each atom is positive. They knew it was very likely uh, something that was positive. And they figured, well, it's got some small electrons in it, so negative, and it's dotted throughout, a little bit like some plum pudding. So I put the little electrons as negatives, and then the whole kind of blob is positive. And now that means that if you fired alpha particles, and it's important now, what's an alpha particle? We have to learn that. So what's an alpha particle? Well, alpha, we write it the Greek symbol alpha, and it's actually an atom of helium. In fact, it's called helium-4. So it's helium-4, and remember helium is a second uh, element, so that means it's helium-4 like this. This you should memorize. This is actually important. You're going to need that later on anyway, but for sure, for sure, you need to know this one. There's only a few things you need to know. You need to know uh, alpha particle, you need to know what a beta minus, beta plus is, and what's a gamma. That's it. So if you fire these particles at it, and by the way, an alpha particle is positive, okay, so that's going to be a positive particle. If you fired positives at it, well, if, if uh, this whole thing right here is evenly distributed, so that means, you know, things might deviate left or right, sure, but they're going to mostly just go straight. So we figured you know, scientists figured that this or here should be the case. And let's see what it looks like if I go to PHET. I love them. They've got their Rutherford scattering one, and I chose plum pudding. So this is this idea, this model. So that means, hey, look, when I press go right here, I'm going to be firing these alpha particles at this uh, very thin gold foil. And remember what an alpha particle is. If we're going to draw them, look, hey, what, uh, this red is a proton you know, um, this sort of gray color is a neutron. Well, if those are protons and neutrons, how many uh, nucleons does an alpha particle have? Well, it should have two protons and two neutrons. So in other words, it should look like this. Do you see why it's two and two? So let's just see what happens here. If we just uh, fire them off, they should just go straight. They should go through undeflected. I could put the traces for them just to see which direction they're going, but nothing is very exciting. There we go. That's what we should get if we have a plum pudding model. Of course, that's not what the real case is. So in their experiment, Geiger, Marston, and Rutherford in 1909, they fired these alpha particles. Remember again what an alpha particle is? Alpha, just to remind you, is helium-4. All right, so they fired these particles, which are positive, uh, at a thin gold foil. Now they expected, like I said, the, if uh, the atom is a plum pudding, they should just go right through undeflected. But what actually happened? Well, most did go through, that's true, but many were deflected. In fact, some of them actually came back, which was really, really surprising for them. So because of that, that's why I put this one right here, like Rutherford's face, and we bounced off the floor, like, what? So they were able to conclude then that the atom must be mostly empty space, and that uh, the atom must have a nucleus, which is positive. Now let me show you this experiment right here, just to show you a little bit uh, what's going on. So I'll go back to PHET here, and this time we'll change it to the Rutherford atom. So this time we're going to be looking at, in fact, we're going to be looking at gold. So this is uh, 79 protons. And we're going to be doing the same kind of thing. We're going to be firing at them. Okay, so we're going to just be firing them. This time it's mostly empty space, sure. But because the nucleus is positive, and because these alpha particles are positive, some of them will actually be deflecting. Let's see what happens here. So if I just press go, you're going to see these little particles start deflecting, going wee, they're going in weird directions. And watch out, some of them are going to, you know, come actually almost straight back, or sometimes even exactly straight back. Look, this one, this one went straight back. So if we do the traces, it's a little bit more fun to see them. So these little particles right here, there, some of them are actually bouncing straight back. Which if the atom was a plum pudding, there's no way that should be positive. So that's why I think it's, it's a really important experiment that they did. Okay, so there we go.
So just to make this drawing, I'm basically just going to try to draw what we just saw. Okay, so this geiger marston uh, experiment, it was evidence that, well, the atom has a nucleus. And again, if I'm going to try to show these ones here, I'm going to try to just draw, you know, like some of them just went straight through undeflected. So I'll maybe draw like that one, for example. Some of them, of course, were deflected a little bit. So maybe this one here goes like here, a little bit like that. And some of them even went straight back. So some of them actually went kind of, you know, and actually came back. So just to show you some of those different paths. This is the piece you need to know for exams.